In this tutorial we're going to look at the hierarchy of an object so that um, refers to the pivot location of an object. So if we go to our create menu and go to our standard primitives here and just make a box um, you can see that it automatically locates the pivot down here at the bottom. So if I move or rotate or scale it's always going to be using that location as its reference point. So if I rotate it'll rotate around that point for example. Sometimes you want to change that. Sometimes you import an object that has a pivot in a really strange location. Um, and so to change that location of that pivot, you go to your third uh, tab here, which is the hierarchy tab. You can then select effect pivot only. And then you'll see if you use your move, rotate, and scale tools, you can actually move not the object, but the location of that pivot. And so if I want that pivot located directly right here, I can turn on my snaps, which is here right click make sure you're snapping to an endpoint a midpoint or a vertex any of those will, well, well vertex or endpoint will work and then you can uh, move that pivot and snap it to a very particular location on the object and then when you're done you deselect effect pivot only and now you'll see it moves and rotates around that new pivot location so that's really useful um, if you want to be very precise about where you move and how you rotate objects. Um, another useful thing is if you go back here and say effect pivot only, you can center a pivot to an object. So if you import an object and there's a pivot way out in space, it's not centered in the object, you can just select the object, select a effect pivot only, say centered object, and it'll move that pivot to the center of the object. And so that's a really helpful thing just for cleaning up these kind of anomalies that happen as you import from one um, program to another program. Another really useful thing uh, is the zoom tool. So if I have a few objects, for example, and I want to work on just this object, I can hit Z and that'll zoom directly to the object I'm working on. So I uh, just want to reinforce that because it's a really fast, quick way to navigate through a scene is to use Z and then use your alt and middle mouse button to orbit and then you can um, you know, select the next object, Z, and then zoom around that one. So Z stands for zoom, and it zooms to the object that's currently selected. 